Are we too busy for our own good? Often we are. To do too much is as dangerous as to do nothing at all. Both modes prevent us from savoring our moments. One causes me to rush right past the best in life without recognizing or basking in it, and the other finds me sitting quietly as life rushes past me. In Romans 12, verses 11 and 12, it says, Don't burn out. Keep yourself refueled and aflame. Be alert servants of the Master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Well, my friend, has the busy pace of life, has it robbed you of peace that might otherwise be yours? If so, it seems that you're too busy for your own good. <laughs> I'm not preaching at you. We all have times like this. That's why we need to rein ourselves in and remember at such times. God offers to anyone who will accept them God's strength and God's peace. But God won't force God's gifts upon us. We have free will to accept or reject. And many times, if we're honest, we reject it, saying, I'm, I'm too busy right now to do this. In order to experience these feelings and these blessings, we have to slow down long enough to spend time in God's presence. And then we feel it again. We are empowered again. We're energized again. Today, as a gift to yourself and to your family and to the world around you, slow down and take time to let God refuel your spirit and your energy. Let God fill you with the inner peace that can only come from God. When times get rough, don't quit. Go in prayer to the source of all that you need. With the flame of God's Spirit blazing in your heart and life, you'll never burn out. You'll always be on the type of power that has a reserve. I wish this for you. I pray with you. This weekend is the time for your good, for finding your good again, for basking in it, by becoming alive again, by feeling the power again, by connecting with your source again, because your source has already reconnected with you. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray you are blessed.